had a scrimmage on Sunday. Tell us what you're what you're going to be looking for. Yeah, I can't wait for the scrimmage, by the way, but uh, because this QB competition is, uh, is is very close right now, you know, and um, really my challenge with those guys right now is just to try to separate themselves. You know, I, I just need some just clear evidence, all right, like that there's a front runner for this position, and and uh, I think on on Sunday when you get referees and you know as realistic as we can possibly make it, uh, I think we're going to get pretty quality evaluation. So. Um, I'm excited for that opportunity from an offensive standpoint. One, we're going live a little bit too, so let's see how these run new running backs and new receivers, you know, how they are in space. Uh, we've had discussions about possibly making some of the quarterbacks live um, because of just their dynamic ability, but like, uh, I don't know if I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can handle that one yet, but, uh, uh, but you know, we'll, we'll see on, uh, on Sunday. Um, but I'm uh, yeah, really excited to get that out there and uh, play with the, uh, with a realistic approach, you know, with the ball spotting and the ball mechanics and all that. Like, we try to simulate that as much as possible. Uh, Coach Sermon probably gets a little, uh, you know, probably not, he doesn't get upset, but it's just not realistic at times because I'm trying to press an issue with playing with a fast tempo. And, uh, uh, you know, sometimes we get a first down and we're snapping it before we even get, like, the, the chain set. So, uh, you know, it'll be, it'll be good to just see the overall operation. So when you talk about wanting to see one of them separate himself, what does he have to show you? And that's that's still what I'm looking for. Um, it's also you know the the scenarios of the game. You know, like when you're in four down territory, like what decisions are you making? Are you taking easy, efficient plays to get to a manageable fourth down call? Um, you know, just kind of uh, really the total operation and and making sure that you're not making the same mistakes. Right? And, and where the ball the ball should be going to the certain spots in certain areas. Uh, you know, is it still going there? Right? Are we just freelancing? Or are we just handing off when we need to? Are we throwing to the right uh, receivers when we need to? Uh, you know, that's that's what I'm looking for. You know, sometimes it gets a little skewed based off of uh, the moving parts of what receivers are in the game, what offensive line is in the game. Uh, so I really try to evaluate the decision making and making sure they're doing the right things. Three man competition. Three man competition right now, and I'm telling you, it is very close, very close, and. Uh, I, I've never seen it like one day you think one guy and the next day it goes the other direction and then it goes to the third quarterback the next day after that. So uh, we we calculate everything, we grade everything uh, from completion percentage to efficiency percentage to scoring, you know, touchdowns to uh, really every detail that we can. Turnovers, uh, you know, detrimental plays, negative plays, um, you know, just saying how you can overcome those things. So you can't decide conclusively on Sunday or on the 19th. When you Scrimmage. Is there a possibility you could go into the opening game? I hope not. Game? I hope no. not. But like right now, if we were doing that, we'd, we'd have to go into because uh, it's so close, you know. And uh, they're all three different, you know. It's just uh, you know you've got like Sam Jackson, dynamic, been here for a spring, a little bit ahead of the offense and certain things, uh, uh, you know. And he hasn't played much ball, but he's going to keep repping. You got Fernando, who hasn't played much ball, hasn't been in a college game yet. Uh, Progressively getting better still, you know, and uh, and rallying the team. You got Ben, who's he has been, you know. And that's uh, I think the consistency of Fernando of just doing the right thing and and the ball's going where it needs to go is um, and he's having success doing that. Yeah, you know. And then there's a lot of things that that him and Sam have not seen where Ben Finley has seen, you know, because he's been in the heat of the battle and and played in Power Five games and you know national TV games. So you know it's it's but he still is working on the familiarity of a new offense, <laughs> you know? So it's like, you can really pick this whole thing apart, um, you know, player by player. But that's why I keep always saying consistency, because like the guy that's just going to be moving the ball, minimizing mistakes, not having detrimental turnovers, uh, and and just, again, put the ball where it needs to go. Uh, those the outside, we sort of thought they've got a nice competition there, but they really have decided that's not the case. That's not the case, no. It, uh, it's, a, it's a three-man race right now. and. And uh, that's not like coach speak. You know, you guys probably watch it too. It's, it's pretty similar. It's pretty close out there when you watch it. There were a couple of back-to-back interceptions. The only two interceptions late in practice. What did you see on those balls? Yeah, the, let's see, the first one was Fernando. Yeah, it's Fernando and Ben. Uh, ben, I, he sailed the ball a little bit too high on his. Uh, guy was open. KJ was right down the seam. I uh, thought that was going to be a pretty good uh, throw. I uh, can't remember what happened on Fernando's. Uh, I just got to look back at that, but uh, oh yeah, no, that's uh, he got caught with the backside safety on that. All right, so a goal line play, uh, backside safety, trace to the trips right there, where you got to work your one on one to the single. So 
Uh, didn't have the read that he wanted on that one. Uh, just got to be more aware of it. You know, but the thing about Fernando is, is that he learns from it, and it won't happen again. <laughs> you know, that's the, you know, the ball will be going where it needs to go. And uh, Ben, you know, he's just got to just, you know, that's continuity and just get that ball down a little bit. And Ben has had, it seems like, it's way more than his share of drop passes where the ball's right on the money. What's going yeah. on there? No, and, and that's why, like, I don't, like, there's a, a side of grading of completion percentage with drop percentage as well, you know. The, I think he's been really accurate so far, you know, and uh, uh, that's kind of been fun watching Ben. You know, when he get, when he catches fire, he's a pretty accurate quarterback, and uh, that's the challenge for the receivers. You know, Coach Toller does a good job, but uh, we got a heated, you know, receiver competition going on right now, too. And, uh, uh, you know, there's some of the guys that have been really good, you know, just surprises to me. Like Tron Grizel is, is playing at an extremely high level, you know, and uh, he's a guy that just makes the most of every opportunity and he's always in the right spots and he's been making those plays. You know, uh, I thought Brian Hightower over the last uh, couple practices have really started to shine a little bit, too. So, you know, now we're, what we're doing is we're mixing and matching up all the receivers. Uh, they're going with all the groups, you know, and uh, I think uh, once we get keep collecting as much data as possible, then that's going to kind of start to settle down too. Did um, Did Jaden get the day off, or is he only day off? Yeah, we gave him the day off. You know, it. Uh, we know what Jaden's capable of doing. You know, he gets all pissed off at us when we pull him with that. You know, it's a competitor in him, but uh, uh, we need to get some evaluations on these other guys. You know, because uh, that's what's going to matter the most to me. Uh, it is, you know, when you give uh, Jaden a breather during the game, you know, who's going to be the next guy to take the take the next load of carries? Who is the next guy right now? Yeah, it's it's a good little race right now. Um, you know, you've got you know Afonso, uh Isaiah. Uh, he's doing a really good job. You know, he's new. Um, you know, and the more reps, the better he's getting. You know, you got Ashton Stredick, who's just a, a straight veteran right now. You know, he's 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 done this for a while. It's a very similar offense that he ran in high school, so he knows the ins and outs of it. Uh, and then he's got an explosive ability. That, I don't know if you guys saw it today. I thought Jet. Um, Javen Thomas, he ended up hitting a pretty good uh, run too. So that was something really good to see. You know, uh, you know, for a freshman, that, that kid's gonna have to carry some load, uh, carry the ball at times and carry the load at times. So it, uh, it'll be fun to watch him uh, get some more action with that. But those three are very similar. They're all a little bit different, you know. But uh, again, that's kind of like At and I just kind of talking it through on, you know, who's the guy that's gonna be reliable. And if uh, if we like them all, then it's gonna be kind of uh, personnel driven. Um, you know, down and distance driven, short yardage backs to, you know, just regular open field play. How's the uh, O-line come along? Really good. You know, I think Coach Blush has done a great job with those guys. Uh, I think uh, just the additions of Barrett Miller and, and Wyckoff, like what they're doing right now is adding a lot more depth and a, and a pretty good competition in there, you know. They're playing with the twos, I think, today. I yeah. Saw. It like they're pushing people around a little bit. Yeah, they're doing really good, you know, and, uh, and you got to – Kind of realize too that like, they haven't played ball since you know December you know in a way so it's uh because uh, both of those guys are out in the spring and they're here so they're still kind of getting acclimated uh the you know just new offense and just getting uh, you know a, a different style of footwork too and uh, I think they've uh, adjusted well and you know I think they're going to add uh, some pretty good depth and potentially be the starters that we that we need on the offensive line. Do you anticipate rotating with the offensive line a little bit because that's the only group that's pretty solid with those five guys. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, I think we'll have more answers after this uh, this scrimmage. Um, but I, I do think Wyckoff and um, Barrett Miller are really pushing to be starters, you know. Um, and I think that's elevated the play, you know, of, of really everybody else, you know, from Driscoll and, and Rome. And, and you just feel good about those guys. We're like, you know, you have seven, you want to have ten, as like as as always. But like, if you have eight guys that you're comfortable with, you know, like I think you can move and shape pretty well. Who now? Ramsey. Ramsey's been in the mix too. You know, he's uh, uh he's on the right side of that line. You know, so you got a pretty solid guy now with Vati. So then we're starting to kind of mix and match him up a little bit. But uh, I think Trent, you know, he's a young kid too, and he's got a, he's got a bright future as well. Talk about the tight ends. And yeah, tight ends. Uh, you know, uh, you got Jack Injuries is is turning out to be a, a very dynamic player. You know, he's playing uh, out in the open field. Uh, he can run and catch, and he can also attach and uh, uh, be physical in the run game. You know, um, you got JT Byrne and Asher Alberding. Uh, you got Jeffrey in there too, who's uh, doing a really good job. Those four are very consistent. Um, 
you know, we uh, we ended up holding out like JT and Asher's been sick, you know, so we all held them out to get Ben Marshall, uh, you know, our freshman, uh, a few more snaps as well. And uh, he's he's actually doing a pretty good job, you know, for a freshman and and uh, really kind of the speed of the game and, and adding yourself into a box with a pretty physical defensive front. Um, he's you know he's holding his own. He's doing a good job. So um, those guys are very consistent in what they do. Like this, like they're always on time. They're always in the right spot. They play with great effort. Like you know, you can always count on them. Uh, just very reliable guys, you know. And they're going to be a very instrumental, uh, instrumental part of our offense. That two-point conversion to end practice to, to Andrews. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever seen a shovel pass to the tight end for a TD or a conversion before. Yeah, that's, that's sort of uh, the uniqueness of your offense. Yeah, that that was. Uh, that was a long summer right there, you know, just uh, <laughs> coming across a lot of different tapes. So, uh, you know, that's uh, that's all about trying to be creative when you get down there because it gets hard to, uh, you know, to get the ball in the end zone, especially when you're on the, you know, two, three yard line, you know, it's all compressed, you know, the run game hits a little bit quicker. So you got to get creative in what you do.